Hello everyone. If you are in 11th or 12th grade or else if you are a parent of a kid who is in 11th or 12th grade then this video is going to be very very important for you. Now students and parents in this particular video we will be talking about IPM at IIM Bodh Gaya. Now some of you might be aware about IPM which is integrated program in management. Many of you might not be aware about this particular course that is IPM. So here in this particular video we will be talking about IPM at IIM Bodh Gaya. So let's start with this particular video. As you can see on the screen IPM which is nothing but integrated program in management. Now what is this integrated program in management? So integrated program in management is a combination of undergraduate as well as the postgraduate. Now what are going to be the requirements? What is the eligibility? We will be talking about this particular things in this video. Let's start with this. So as you know that I am Bodh Gaya is not very old college in the league of IIMs. The I am Bodh Gaya is founded in the year 2015. Whereas this particular course that is IPM is launched by I am Bodh Gaya in the year 2021. Now the duration of this particular course is five years. That is the first three years will be of the UG that is under graduation. Whereas the next two years will be of the post graduation. The degree at the end of the IPM that will be offered by I am Bodh Gaya is going to be BBA plus MBA. And how many seats are there? So there are total 120 seats offered by I am Bodh Gaya for this particular program IPM. Now yes student you need to make a note of this particular point that yes there is the exit option after the three years. Let's say after three years if a student don't want to continue in I am Bodh Gaya or else he or she has secured the admission for PG in a better college than I am Bodh Gaya then they can take the exit after three years. Moving ahead students let us talk about the admission process of this particular course IPM at I am Bodh Gaya. There is the eligibility that has to be fulfilled by the general student as well as the category student which is 60% marks are needed in the 10th and the 12th grade whereas the category student are getting the little bit relaxation that is they have to secure minimum 55% marks in order to enter into I am Bodh Gaya for IPM. Talking about the entrance exam accepted by I am Bodh Gaya for this particular course is JIPMAT. JIPMAT which is joint entrance program in management aptitude test and the very very important point over here is after the entrance examination there is no personal interview. If a student crack the entrance examination and meet all the criteria given by the I am Bodh Gaya he or she will be into I am Bodh Gaya in order to complete this particular course IPM. Moving ahead this particular part is quite important that is in order to clear this particular examination zip mat student have to meet this sectional cutoff of 30 percentile in each of the section which is not a very big deal but this is the minimum thing that student have to fulfill. Moving ahead yes there is the gender diversity provided by the I am Bodh Gaya that is 70% of the seats are gender neutral which is nothing but on the 70% of the seats the admission will be uh, girls and boys it can be it, it will be on the basis of the uh, entrance score whereas the 30% seats are reserved where this is going to be the combination of gender neutral as well as the seats reserved for the girl candidate. Now let us quickly talk about the curriculum which the students are going to learn they are going to do in the all five years of this particular course IPM. Now for the first three years there will be a semester pattern that is two terms per year whereas 22 to 26 credit per semester will be there across 9 to 10 subjects. Moving ahead electives will be offered in the term 6. Now for the year 4 and 5 which is nothing but the years of the post graduation this is following the same pattern of the MBA which is nothing but tri semester pattern. Moving ahead there is this important thing that is student have to secure minimum 5 CGPA in order to move to the next year whereas they have to secure minimum 5.5 CGPA in order to get into their fourth year. That is if the student fail to 
perform so well i mean to say that this is very basic criteria that student have to maintain this minimum cgpa if a student let's say fail to maintain this minimum cgpa they will not be entered into the fourth year that is they won't be able to get the chance to complete their post graduation so student you need to be very careful with your academics over here let us talk about the exposure factors provided by the im bodhgaya the very very important thing over here is the rural immersion now let us talk about what is this rural immersion so rural immersion is something like i am bodhgaya is going to give the opportunity to the student that they can go to a village but obviously uh, the area will be specified by the i am bodhgaya only where student can visit the village and student can deliver their knowledge to the people or you can say that for the betterment of the people where student can uh, uh, teach the kids of the village or else they can uh, uh, you can say that they can run some uh, some society benefits uh, organizations or you can say that uh, some event which are going to be helpful for the betterment of the people this is what nothing but the rural immer immersion so rural immersion is given by i am both gaya at the end of the second year whereas the business internship will be given by i am both gaya at the end of third year as well as the fourth year now the very very important part that that is the uh, return on investment uh, sir shall we go to this i am both gaya in order to do ipm is there really good opportunities after completing this particular course so let's talk about it okay now in order to understand return on investment first of all you need to know the fees so for the first 3 years that is year 1 2 and 3 the fees is going to be 4.5 lakh per annum okay whereas for the fourth and the fifth year the fees is going to be as per the fees of the mba program moving ahead let us talk about the placement so mean salary that is i am both gaya is offering is up to 15 lpa whereas the average salary that i am both guys offering is up to 16 lpa now student you need to uh, keep this point in mind that i am both gaya is not so old college okay so uh, and the, at the same time the course that they are offering uh, it has been launched in the year of 2021 so we believe that over the period of time these things are going to get improved for sure so we are at the end of this particular video now here students we have given you some qrs let's say if the student is interested uh, in the programs offered by the ims so there is the first qr that is the ims brochure so you can scan this qr code and you will get the brochure of the ims on the second qr you guys can see that this is the uh, zero fee program uh, something which we are really proud of it you can scan the qr and you can uh, go through the course that is offered by the ims which we are giving to our uh, full time student so here you will get the access of the mocks you will get the access of the course material at the end you can see that the online batch detail if the student they they are not able to uh, go to the physical classroom so student can enroll in the online batch as well so i hope this particular video uh, you find it interesting and it was informative for you so thank you very much for watching this video